What is polycystic ovarian syndrome? PCOS is caused by an hormonal imbalance within the female body, which can lead to a variety of both internal and external symptoms. While the disorder is not completely understood, there is a general agreement among physicians that two of the following three symptoms must be present in order to diagnose PCOS. The first one is menstrual irregularity, which involves an irregular or absent period which can lead to difficulty getting pregnant. Secondly, increased levels of testosterone, which is associated with the excess body hair, facial hair, and acne present among women with PCOS. Thirdly, polycystic ovaries, the abnormal presence of cysts in the ovaries which can increase risk for uterine cancer. These symptoms can be accompanied by diabetes, obesity, and heart disease. Currently, there is no cure for PCOS, but you can manage the PCOS symptoms through different therapeutic methods. Normally, symptoms of PCOS will resolve themselves once a woman is nearing menopause. A patient with PCOS, the primary defects are seen from two perspectives in the body. The first one is insulin resistance, and secondly, relative LH and FSH levels. A person with PCOS may have insulin resistance. This means that the cells within your body fail to respond to the insulin hormone to take up glucose for the use of energy. Because glucose is not being used up for energy, it results in the storage of glucose resulting in weight gain. Ultimately, the excess insulin within the body will cause the ovaries to increase production of androgen. This can lead to anovulation. Furthermore, the two main pituitary hormones that orchestrate major changes in your body are luteinizing hormone, LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH. These are hormones essential for reproduction. LH stimulates the production of androgen substrates which are converted to create sex hormones such as testosterone and estrogen. FSH stimulates the growth of the ovarian follicles to allow maturation of the egg before it releases. It is important for FSH and LH to be in precise balance to avoid complications. Normally, during the beginning of the menstruation cycle, FSH is higher than LH. However, in PCOS, this is reversed. Initially, instead of a higher FSH, there is an increased level of LH, which produces an excess of androgen substrates that lead to elevated testosterone levels, which are associated with the excess body and facial hair. Furthermore, with the decreased levels of FSH, the ovaries are not stimulated adequately for maturation and eventually ovulation. This is the reason why women with PCOS have difficulty conceiving and experience irregular menstruation cycles.